This is Jerry. She's a three-year-old blue and gold macaw, and she's going through a molt. Parrots molt constantly throughout the year, but they have a couple seasonal molts that are much bigger than the others. You can tell they're molting because your floor will be covered in feathers. <laughs> um, and also they'll start to get a plethora of these pin feathers, which you can see here. Now, they'll generally get their own pin feathers. You don't have to worry about it. They have to be broken in order to set the new feather free. But there are a few that they can't get to, such as the ones on their neck and head. And so that's up to their mate, um, which in this case is usually you. So what you're gonna do is go through, and when you find one, you first test to see if it's ready by lightly pinching the very tip. See how she kind of twitched? That means that one's not ready um, because they do hurt them if they're not ready yet. This one, however, oops, sorry, little Jerry, wasn't quite ready either. But you see they break into these like almost kind of plasticky, that one wasn't ready either. So I'm just very, very lightly squeezing the tips to see if they're ready. You can tell they're ready by the color. So they will become white when they're ready to be pinched and they'll be black when they're not ready. They'll be dark colored. So I'm gonna try to find one that's actually ready. So see how the tip of this one is white? That means the tip of it is ready, but the rest of it isn't. So if I squeeze that one, it'll hurt her. So we don't wanna do that. Yes. Just trying to find one for the video. Okay, I found one, but it's really in there, so I can't. Okay, but see how it kind of comes off? Yeah. Oh, and it does feel good for them when you get when you get one that's ready. All I'm doing is lightly pinching it between my fingernails. <coughs> I'm sorry, Jerry. Oh. She's so gentle with me. She's so patient with me. Here's a bunch of them right here. Yes, Jerry. Okay, I got one. So this will create a lot of dust on your floor <laughs> or your couch in this case. So I usually just do them and then grab the vacuum and vacuum up all the little bits. It's also actually good for them to eat these little pieces. So you can also kind of feed them to them like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. And that's it. So you basically just go through and lightly, light. Oh, Jerry. I'm sorry. Lightly, lightly test them to make sure they're ready. And in an effort to find a good example for you guys, I've just been going a little overboard with her. So she's getting a little annoyed with me. <laughs> There's one. It's very satisfying. Yes, Jerry. Oh, here's one. Yeah, that felt good. That felt good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one's not ready? Okay. You do have to be 
careful when you're petting them when they're going through a malt because it's easier to hurt them if you pet the pin feathers the wrong way. It will hurt them. Oh, Gary, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. I know, you just really want wing scratches. That's all you really want. Here's one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you have any questions, I know it's hard to see in this video. So let me know in the comments down below if you have questions about malting and about helping your parrot preen. It's a really good bonding activity. Uh, and it shows them how much you care and love them. And it also feels really good and satisfying to both of you. So <laughs> I know you're done with me. You're done with me. So again, put your questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.